We're going to learn about the parts of a plant. Discovery Education is a media service that allows teachers to use things like videos, songs, sound effects, images in the classroom. Discovery Science is a special package of science content that's been put together so that it includes things like interactive labs, interactive glossaries, explorations, and things that the students can actually interact with. Discovery Education Streaming is our main library and it has things for all of the disciplines including science. You come up here, take the pen, and I want you to go over there and figure out which one of those. Click, click to select a characteristic and a function of roots. Do roots branch out under the plant or above the plant? When I'm using Discovery Education Science, one of the first things I keep in mind is that it's really important to allow the digital to support the hands-on. We know that in the science class, hands-on is really, really important. And most teachers have really good ideas for things that they're going to do to get the kids hands on the materials. The digital then can support the hands-on materials. So we might work through an exploration that shows them how the roots absorb water and minerals for the plant. And then I can show them an actual scallion or something with root hairs so that they can investigate. Using a discovery education science teaches the students that technology can be educational as well. And it get, takes those kids who may not have that experience and gives them the experience of doing things like watching videos online and interacting, learning how to use the mouse even and open up files. And it, it gives everybody the same footing and the same opportunity to use the technology as a way of delivering an educational experience. We use the active response with an assessment and I ask questions. While I was asking those questions, I took note of those materials, those concepts, where I didn't get a clear response from the class, where maybe the answer was split. And in one case, we even had a tie. So that way, I know as an educator to go back in and work harder on those concepts before I move on, because I know that some of the students aren't getting that material or a clear understanding of that material. So the student um, assessment manager allows me to both create the online assessments to do either individually or up in front of the class and then use the data to change my instruction if need be, reinforce instruction and remediate and or move on if we're good at, with what we're doing and we can go to the next concept. Good job. Did you have fun learning about the parts of plants yeah. today? Yeah. Are you plant experts now? Yeah. Jefferson Parish has been using Discovery Education for quite a while. We became aware of Discovery Education Science and learned that another school district was able to raise their science scores considerably. So we decided to do it as a pilot and this year we're doing 14 schools, a mixture of elementary and middle schools because that's where the focus is for the science. In our trainings, in our professional development trainings, we guide the teachers into, first of all, the necessity of doing it, um, the good instructional practices and techniques that will help them do it, and then we show them the step-by-step -step instructions and the nitty-gritty on how the technology works. I've become more comfortable with using the program and um, so now I'm able to give them assignments online that they can go and use at home and they're excited to go home and see what's in their mailbox. They can't mm -hmm. see, they can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, some of them even do the assignments two and three times and they'll come and they'll tell me, oh I did the assignment and then they'll say, I did it again mm -hmm. and I did it again. So they're really excited to use it. One thing about Discovery Ed, it's safe. I know when I find something on there it can be used. It's not blocked from the district. Even things that I can't buy supplies for that aren't available, they're able to go on and do it virtually. It would just, it would leave a big hole in the curriculum and they wouldn't think science was cool without Discovery at Science. Discovery Science made my homework a lot easier because uh, my, um, when I do Discovery Science, it gives me my answers for my homework. It is a lot different in Discovery Science because we're being, we've been watching more videos and Sometimes Ms. Harper will let us play games on Discovery Science. Like, there's this game on Discovery Science. It's called I Know It, where the, yet there can go up to four characters. There's this moose. He, he asks you a lot of questions about the topic you picked. And if the person gets, if the first person to try gets it wrong, then it goes to the next player. And then if that person gets it wrong, then it goes to the next player. And if all the players get it wrong twice, then it um, then it 
says, tells you the answer. Well, usually I start off with two of the, a couple of the vocabulary words, and then I go on to either an e-book or an e-reader. And sometimes, just occasionally, I'll go on to a video near the bottom. Just occasionally. Building your lessons so that they include hands-on components and digital media and the use of the technology, the interacting with the machines and each other, the collaboration and the problem-solving skills, is the best way to prepare these 21st century students for their future. I'm going to conduct you. You ready? Roots. Tubes up. Leaves. Make your food. Push the food down. Everybody do it at the same time. And that, my friends, is the parts of the Plant Orchestra. Aren't they wonderful?